When you talk about historical processes, you basically use three terms. One is historical, meaning coming from before modern photographic materials. One is manipulative, meaning that you use your hands or like a brush or a piece of sponge to manipulate the resulting image. And one is permanent, meaning it will last almost forever. When you come to oil printing, it's all three. It's permanent, it's manipulative, and of course historical. You start by producing a matrix from gelatin sensitized with bichromate. This is exposed in contact with the negative, of course, carefully washed, and then the real magic begins. You take hold of a brush and start painting. It's a slow process, but it's a process that gives you an almost perfect control over the resulting image. It doesn't really matter, for example, that the sky was totally empty when you were taking the picture. It's entirely up to you whether you're going to create clouds in it or not. The process is basically an approximation of fine art paintings. Not accidentally, it was invented as an attempt to rebuff criticism from painters who said that photography is purely mechanical and thus not an art. Well, whatever can be said about oil printing, mechanical it is not.